there's a good reason why this is my most requested video ever. Bomb probability calculation is super useful in the opening and mid game of Minesweeper. Take this guessing spot for example, you might be unsure which tile to click next, but once you know the bomb probabilities of all the tiles, the one's tricky choice becomes pretty trivial. So let's get started on how to calculate bomb probabilities. First of all, what we wanna do is find tiles with the following characteristics. They always hold a specific number of bombs and they don't influence other bomb placements. Take these three tiles. They always hold one bomb and no matter where the bomb is, they don't influence other bomb placements. Great, now discard those tiles and discard every tile that doesn't touch a number we call these floating tiles. Now copy and paste the position until you map every possible bomb configuration. In this case we have 10. Now calculate the mine density, which is roughly the number of bombs left divided by the number of floating tiles. If you don't want to count the tiles, you can assume a 21% bomb density for expert difficulty opening and mid-game positions. The mine density will give you a corresponding M value, following this table. In our case we'll operate under an M value of 3.8. So far so good! Now we'll calculate the weight of the configurations. Start from the configurations of bombs that hold the most bombs. Those configurations will have a weight of 1. In our case we have just one configuration of bombs that holds 7 bombs. The configuration that holds one bomb less than that will have a weight of 1 times the M value. In our case, 1 times 3.8 equals 3.8. The configuration that holds one bomb less than that will have a weight of 1 times the M value squared, and so on and so on. In our case, we have three configurations that hold five bombs. This will have weights of 3.8 squared, which is 14.44. Great, now that we have the weights, we're almost there. Let's say we'd want to calculate this tile's bomb probability. The bomb probability is equal to the sum of the weights of the configurations in which the tile is a bomb, divided by the sum of all the weights. In this case, we have 1 divided by 66.12 which is roughly 0.015 or 1.5%. Great, now that you know how to calculate the bomb probabilities, you can go back to playing as usual. <laughs> 